Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. As you can tell, we are right where we left off. And we've got some baddies that have shown up here and apparently want to try to take us out. So I think let's get a last bit of gold. Before we go do our shopping, we're going to spend a bit of gold uh, intrinsic. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's fill the purses a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, two. All right. Uh, I guess Sayola can stay there. Barely wounded. I'm going to stay put. I'm going to let my guys pass me, I guess. Barely wounded. Actually, no, I'll get up there and I'll get next to him. I'll leave Iola in place so when that guy finally comes around the corner, like he just did. Missed. Good job. That was sarcasm. <sighs> Iolo, come on. You just better be, you know, a thousand times better on the crossbow, dude. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, because if I spend 600 bucks, 600 coin, gold, whatever the term is, to uh, equip you with a crossbow, man, and then you're 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 missing one shot out of three or two shots out of three. I'm gonna be ticked off, lightly wounded still. Gosh! All right, Dupree attack. Shouldn't take this many of us to get this guy dead. He's still just lightly wounded. He's got an incredible amount of hit points. Now he's heavily wounded. Now he's critical. Now he's fleeing. Still fleeing. There we go, dead. 77 gold. That was a nice nice amount of gold. I'm happy with that. Okay, so um, we are looking for weapons. Weapons, 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 weapons. Honorable in. That's not it. Weapons, weapons, weapons. I might look at the armor just for... Um, Actually, you know what? Let's get out of here because I, I am annoyed that if you don't have enough um, money, then you can't see how much it is. 600 gold pieces. All right. So that's good to know. Okay. Welcome, friend. Are they here to buy or we're here to buy? Okay. So they have bows here. All right. I thought uh, some place you can buy crossbows besides Vesper, I think. So I'll have to look that up later. But we're just here for the bows. We're just here for the bows. So we want we want three bows. We can buy three bows and have gold left over. We'll have a 100, 105 gold left over. So yeah, let's uh, let's get some bows. Give me three. A fine choice. No. Okay, so ready a weapon. So who's got what again? So first of all, we're going to, we were going to give Katrina one. And so going to get a bow. A shepherd may not use a bow. Okay. Okay, that's, that's a good bit of information. Uh, oh, actually, I will put that over here in the notes. Can't use a bow. I'm going to be really upset if... All right, so interesting. Can't use bow. I wonder if they can use crossbow. So let's go with... Definitely Shamano and Dupree. 
And then uh, I think I'll do Shamino, Joffrey, and Dupree. Now let's do Julia. So Shamino, Dupree, and Julia. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Ready a weapon for Shamino, a bow. Very good. Ready a weapon for. What did I say? Dupree. Dupree is five. A bow. Yep. And then I already did two. I did five. So now ready a weapon for Julia. A bow. All right. So we've got we've got a couple swords there. Actually, let's take a look at our stats. Let's see where we're at. I'm getting there to, to 6,200. I am getting there. Let's see. All right. People are getting... Shamino's level six. To get to say, he's going to get this. Yeah, he just, he just went up, so he's got a ways to go. Joffrey's got to get to level six. That's six yeah, yeah. So we don't have anybody, I don't think, that is ready to... Dupree's almost there. When he gets 800, he'll be ready to level up, but not just quite. Iolo, to get to level seven, he's 3,200. Yeah, we're not... And then so, uh, Katrina just leveled to level four, so she's got a ways to go. All right, so we've got one axe and two swords. And maybe we will sell those in the future. But for now, I'm just going to leave that be. Let's see how, let's see how our fireballs, we still have 38 fireballs. Beautiful. You know, and we got a metric buttload of reagents. So maybe sometime I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do a lot more with those, uh, but not today. Okay, good. So we've got bows uh, and, uh, so actually, let's let's go back into this. Let's go back into this right now. I want to I want to keep and I want to see who's got what from a weapons perspective. So Gizmo, right now I have a sling. Shamino has has a bow. Joffrey still has his mace. Julia has got a bow. Okay, and then Dupree also has a bow. All right, so what I did in my notes is, is I went ahead and I and I, I kept what the original was and just crossed it out, just so like if I want to go back to the previous configuration, uh, I I I remember what who had what. So that's all I did there. So okay, so we've got uh, now Joffrey is the only person right now that's not ranged. I thought I was expecting because I was expecting that Katrina was going to be able to take a bow. I thought we were going to free up a sling, but that didn't happen. Did these guys, did these guys sell slings? They do not. All right. I guess Joffrey right now will leave him as, as as melee he's going to be the only one for the moment so now before we leave before we leave here let's think about what is it we're going to do now and where are we going to go i was kind of focused on uh you know getting bows we have bows so um now we could maybe try to get another bow for joffrey it's only 250 gold pieces Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll kind of range around here so I can put the map away. I don't need that. Let's just range around here and do a little bit more killing. And uh, we'll buy another bow. There's got to be more things to kill. Don't tell me I cleaned, that, cleaned it out. I'm not buying that. Hello? Oh, demons. Use. Horn. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Uh, let's see. We are all, except for Joffrey. 
Joffrey's got to go up there. But the rest of us are all long range. And hopefully we don't get too many people sleeping because that Balron up there is going to start casting sleep spells at any minute. Oh, nice. One shot with a bow. Barely wounded. It varies. You know, it, it certainly varies. We got lots of people missing. And I don't think I can... I don't think as a mage... I don't think I can use a bow. I think I read that someplace. So I think for range, I'm, I'm stuck with my fireballs. <laughs> Gosh. I'm stuck with my fireballs and... Um, and my um, sling. There we go. Another one down. That was with a bow. Good shooting, Julia. All right. We need to get to this Balrog. Or Balron. Balrog's different. All right. Let's see if we can get some demon flesh dead here. Who's getting hit? And nobody's getting hit a lot. We may have to hold up and camp after this one. I was hoping the horn might make them flee, but that's why I, the first one, as soon as I saw them, I blew the horn. But that did not. Okay, he's barely wounded. We need flaming arrows. Of course, I don't think flaming arrows would do much against demons because they're not going to be bothered all that much by fire Will you quit doing that heavily wounded critical Shamina with the bow. All right, one's dead. Oh, come on, Io. Come on, um, Dupree. You had a shot. Barely wounded on the bow run. At least now we have a we have a line on him. Lightly wounded. Okay, I'm happier. We've we've thinned their numbers somewhat. He's still lightly wounded. That guy's heavily wounded. Uh, Julia, come on. Be our Katniss. Everybody's asleep. Oh my gosh. Okay, somebody's awake. A couple people wait. Right. Shamino, Dupree. I okay. That guy's fleeing. Good. That guy's fleeing. Heavily wounded. Oh, I'm awake. My character is awake. Well. <laughs> I might have spoken too soon. I'm going to try to get up there and um, lay some fireballs upon his buttocks. Heavily wounded. Good. If I, if I can stay awake long enough... Now he's critical. Oh, good. Tried to poison Iolo, but he failed. Beautiful, he's gone. So no more of the sleepy, sleepy BS. Okay, there we go. 32 gold. Oh, wow, they're just lining up. How Are we doing okay on health? Eh, Joffrey's down a little bit. 
see if we can hold up in camp real quick. I know that guy's like right next to us, and as soon as we wake up, we're going to be in combat. But but let's see if we can get our health up a bit. Oh, great! Now we're getting attacked in our sleep. Oh no, this is this is that this is that maze that was next to us. So I assume, yeah, we got healed. We got healed some. You know, not a not not a ton, but we did get healed some. All right, that was Joffrey's our one guy that's not ranged. Lightly wounded. Still lightly wounded. Ah, Joffrey, I need to move you up. Missed. Heavily wounded. Still. <sighs> now he's critical. Come on, Shamano. Still critical. Missed, 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 missed. Darn this guy. There we go, he's dead. Get up there. Um. I will say having one guy that's melee while the rest of us are ranged, it's kind of a pain in the butt because I gotta remember that he's melee and it just takes takes forever to get him in a position where he can actually start hitting somebody. That guy's critical. I'm surprised it's taken I'm surprised it's taken this long. He's really hanging on for somebody that's critical. That guy's fleeing. We should be allowing less people to flee from us now because we'll always have somebody... Well, I shouldn't say always, but we have a better chance of having somebody in position that can get them with a range shot as they run away. Case in point, of course, any misses. There we go. 61 gold. <laughs> We're almost there already. Okay, just a bunch of orcs. That guy's fleeing already. Nobody for you to attack. Uh, you missed. Heavily wounded. Gone. Gone. Yeah, I'm liking this. <laughs> Oh, I'm liking this. It'll be really nice when we're fighting rogues. Because now we ought to be able to do a little bit better, hopefully, keeping them at at uh, a distance. And hopefully killing them off quickly before they can take our gold. I'm also thinking this will be a good tactic um, when we face... Uh, gremlins when we get back into the dungeons. Although I'm told that Jinx is a really good spell to have. Um, but I looked it up, uh, you know, for, for, for you know, be, uh, for uh, opponents such as that. And, uh, but the problem is, is that, um, that requires nightshade, so I'd, I'd I'd have to find that. I probably need to. I'm gonna need to because before we go back into the dungeons, I want to find. Uh, I want to have the gate travel spell. Twenty one gold. I want to have the gate travel spell in my back pocket because I want in case. I'm gonna let these guys come to us a little bit. 
Um, in case we show up someplace stupid when we come out of a dungeon, come out of the dungeon, um, I want to be able to gate travel any place. So if we're if we come out someplace where, um, you know, we can't. You know, we're, we're on an island or, or, you know, wherever, but we can't get anywhere because of the, because of the way the land is. Um, I want to be able to, uh, gate travel someplace else. So I see that as a key. Why are you in that line? All right. 18 gold. All right, we're almost there. So close, so close, so close, so close. Where are we at here now? We're back up to K, so we're a little bit north of Trinsic. And there's some more orcs ready to give up their gold. him up. Turn it. Double dog down it. Whoops. How dare you jive out of the way? How dare you, sir? Is he fleeing? Did we even lay a hand on him? <laughs> He's fleeing. I'm not even sure we touched him. If we did, we didn't do it more than once, but he's gone. 62, there we go. All right. Let's find Trinsic. I think it might be right here. It is. All right, let's get our last bow. That's not it. I was only just here. Why would I remember? Why would I remember? Okay, we are here to buy a bow. We want one. Thank you. No. So ready weapon for Dupree. No, it wasn't. All right. Who's got it? It's Joffrey, right? Sling, bow, yeah, it's Joffrey. It's Joffrey. It's Joffrey. It's Joffrey. So, ready weapon. Joffrey. Bow. Boom. So, let's go over to our notes. And Joffrey had the mace. And now he's got a bow. And boom. Okay. So now we are 100% 100% uh ranged. Uh I do think I probably want to get Iolo a crossbow and hopefully that's going to improve his accuracy. I'm a little worried about it because, you know, the book says its best weapon is for a bard is sling or crossbow. And um but you know, he makes crossbows and yet doesn't have one of his own. Okay, I don't understand that, <laughs> but he doesn't. So, um, so yeah, I, I, we 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 we've achieved we've achieved that we've achieved that. So I think um, if I don't do it off camera, I think next time we will focus our sights on completing our avatar hood. We might uh, go up to pause and buy some reagents on our way, and then we can go to Hawkwin and see if we're ready. Uh, for honesty, I believe it is. And um, 
and then go to the Shrine of Honesty, hopefully, and get that. So that's my thought for the next time. And then it's just going to be all about gearing up for um, the dungeons. And one of those things is going to be the fact that uh, we need to get the mystic armor and see what that's going to what that's going to take. That might take its own grinding. So we're going to be moving toward getting ready. I want to buy a metric buttload of food. And I mean, I'm talking probably thousands, have thousands of units of food before we, before we go into the dungeons. And what I'm hoping to do is to do is we'll go in the high fluff and I'm hoping we can do one pass through and get everything we need. We got stones to get, um, we, you know, I mean, because we found all the altar rooms, we know how to get into every dungeon. We've got to get the stones. So I'm hoping we can get that done fairly quickly, ish, and then we can get out of there. Now, if we have to do multiples, then we will do, we will do multiples, but uh, multiple trips. But that's like the big thing to do, and get the stones. Um, and we still have to find out some things about, you know, third part of the key and which part of the key and, and what stones go in which altar rooms. So we still have some information to learn. But uh, yeah, I, that's kind of getting us to the end game. We got to go through the dungeons and then we can start worrying about the abyss and the codex. So I feel like the end is at least in sight. It's going to be a little bit of work to get there. But I feel like we can start moving confidently toward the end game. But that's in future episodes. So anyway, thank you for sticking with me. I hope you'll stick with me to the end. And I am planning on sticking with it to the end. There's sometimes some gaps and delays and that's just schedule. But it is my intention to finish this and get it completely done. And that would be totally awesome. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Please come back next time. And until then, be seeing you.